Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Earth Angels. Welcome to Angels Teach. I am Elvia Rowe, and I am so delighted that you are here. Thank you for joining me in this space. This is the first of my sharing my weekly blog post via video. For those of you who really want me that visual experience and, you know, for us to connect in a, a, a new way, a different way. Angels Teach turns 11 tomorrow on April 1st, and um, it's just a time of a lot of change. And that's what I actually wrote about this week uh, in my blog post. Dear Mercury Retrograde, you have brought me to my knees. You might be feeling the same thing. So I pray that what I share here helps you and uh, helps you feel that connection with your angels a little more deeply because we are always dancing with these universal energies, of course. So anyone with a pulse is likely aware that Mercury retrograde is giving us quite a dance right now. And with certain kinds of energy, Mercury is retrograde in Aries, which has its own unique kind of imprint. I'm going to share a quote on that just shortly here. My MO when Mercury is retrograde in gifting us with these energies is to not give that challenge side of Mercury retrograde any energy. That really is my default setting. And, and I do understand that Mercury retrograde really does invite us to go inward and to go deep into our own selves. Uh, but you know what I have learned this particular Mercury retrograde is that there is more to it. And while that is my default setting to not give the challenges energy, there certainly is an opportunity to know the energies in a deeper way um, through love. So just a short sharing from what's been happening in my hood this week uh, as a way of sharing uh, the lessons here. Our family is in the midst of a lot of transitions. Our son just moved back from Tokyo and starts a new job on Monday. Our daughter also is starting a new job and so our son needed to get hooked up with new phone, new car, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, and our daughter also, who's been driving a, um, a car that's, that's it's old now, uh, is actually going to take my old car and I got a new car. So story here, punchline is two new cars purchased during EA. You got it. Mercury retrograde. So there is a message about all these changes occurring around cars and cars symbolizing moving forward. So that's certainly a part of the message for uh, me personally and for our family. Uh, and I've also noticed as I've been processing this that the number four has, has uh, been part of this experience quite a bit as well. And the number four is about foundation. So moving foundation is really a big part of um, what's been happening personally. But back to Mercury retrograde. So I admit it, I was a little bit in my head when I went to look at cars. Uh, it was my birthday and I kind of had that, yeah, I'm the birthday girl, I wanna go look at cars. And I wasn't planning to actually buy a car that day, um, but you know how it can be, salesman, I found the right car, kind of seemed like, uh, you know, I was in my head with this, but it seemed like it was the right thing, even though intuitively I was feeling a little bit that, mm, not the right timing, but Anyway, I did pull the trigger on that. Our son, on the other hand, had a clear vision from the beginning. I was with him as he was car shopping and he had spot on guidance. And you know what? Start to finish, no hitches. Even though it was during Mercury retrograde, he was full on in his channel and, uh, and, and as I was supporting him, we both were, and it was a smooth process. So, um, you know, what Mercury really has taught us here, one part of it is how important it is to be in your channel, to be in your guidance as you are making any kind of transaction. So my experience, really silly things like the registry of motor vehicles was down for four days because they were doing a system upgrade so they couldn't register the car. The insurance had a glitch. Um, so I ended up having to go to the dealership like four different times before I actually was able to pick up my car. And then stupid other stuff happened, like uh, I left the Easy Pass in the car that we traded in, uh, you know, and other things outside of the car thing happened uh, that you can see in the blog post. But 
You know, a lot around communication glitches, a lot around technology glitches. Um, yeah, I do have to mention this one because this is kind of funny. So our son did get a new phone, right? Turns out somebody else is using the same number. So there's that, right? A little cray cray. So uh, again, Mercury is a gift and we always have to see these challenges for opportunities to learn. And so for me personally, well, yeah, I can be kind of teeth clenching at times, but I actually really love situations like this when it feels like there's just so much to learn from the experience. And, and, and that really has been my uh, experience is, is learning more about Mercury retrograde here. So I want to share this short quote from Chrissy Blaze's uh, she's an astrologer and her book Mercury Retrograde and uh, she writes about all of aspects or many of the aspects of Mercury ret Retrograde of course and what she writes about Mercury Retrograde in Aries is this it's time to turn your outward looking gaze inward on yourself what do you see if you're honest, it's unlikely that you're perfect. Perhaps there are rough edges, or perhaps the way you project yourself is ruffling feathers and not doing you much good. Focus on yourself, your impression you make, and refine what you see. Upgrade your image physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Mercury retrograde is now preparing you for a more effective leadership style in the future. It's time to be brave and courageous, but not impulsive and foolhardy. You may be tempted to start new things. Instead, revise what you already have in your life and look carefully before you leap. If you begin something new, you may end up where you don't want to be. If your life is complex and entangled, it's a great time to unravel the knots and streamline. Aim for speed, clarity of focus, simplicity, and confidence. Get all your ducks in a row and solutions for unresolved issues that are slowing you down. So thank you, Chrissy Blaze, for that insightful piece of wisdom. I love this. It's all about really preparing us to be leaders. And whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever you are, if you're reading this, there is the leader inside of you that is being invited to step forward. And it doesn't have to be in this big way, it may be in a big way, or it may be just standing up for yourself a bit more in the relationships in your life or the situations in your life. It can be easy to live in the muggle mind with the idea that we are individuals just all doing our own individual work just in these, these uh, channels of isolation, but we aren't. We are constantly in partnership with our angels and also with all of the energies that are hitting the planet. It could be Mercury retrograde, other planets that go retrograde. All energies in our solar system and beyond are affecting us. So the question then becomes, are you working with those energies? Think back to my son following his guidance. Am I helping him? in my channel helping uh, him to buy the car or are you more in your head and you're fighting the energies our angels help us to navigate this territory they keep us in our guidance and truth be told a part of me believes that i actually was meant to have that situation with my car just so that i could learn and go deeper into this magical mystery of experience of life so with that i'm just going to pick a card for the week. This is the Secrets of the Mystic Grove deck and it's a beautiful, beautiful deck that I just have had on my desk recently. And the card for all of us this week is Decision. This card comes up for me a lot. Um, and just a note, when you have cards that come up a lot, you know the angels really are encouraging you, inviting you to um, go into that and really feel into that um, knowledge. So decision here. The message for all of us is, of course, about making a decision. Uh, and it also goes back to, I'm hearing the angels say, it always also goes back to what these Mercury retrograde energies are asking of us. Are we going to allow the easy path 
<laughs> I'm giggling because remember I said easy pass. So are we going to allow the easy pass to the easy path or are we going to fight? And that is always going to come back to this. It's a decision and it's a decision moment to moment and one that it may not always be easy in the short term, but in the medium to long term, it's always the better path, always. And most times in the moment, it's an easier path too. We just may not necessarily see it that way. So with that, that is our message for this week. So much love to each and every one of you. Have a beautiful day, beautiful week, and go Mercury Retrograde. Woohoo!